Hey guys, welcome back. So this is going to be my second video that I'm filming this evening. My kids are in bed and I thought I have a moment so I'm just going to come on here and kind of do this quick um, collective haul. Well, hopefully quick because you guys know how I like to ramble and such. But anyways, I picked up some stuff from a couple things I ordered from Target off their website and then a couple things I got from Target in the store and a couple things from Charlotte Russe and a couple things from Ulta. So... I just thought I would come on here and show you guys what I picked up. But first off, I want to say thank you guys so much for every single one of you who watch my videos, who like them, comment, um, share my videos. I just want to thank you guys all so much for your support, taking your time out of your day to, you know, watch my videos and support me. It means so much to me. I can't thank you guys enough. It means just the world to me. So I just want to come on here and say that real quickly before I started my haul. So, um, and I love you guys all so much. And I don't know why that hand came out. But anyways, let's go ahead and get started. First off, I'm going to show you guys the stuff that I picked up from Charlotte Russe, but I want to apologize for the lighting because it is late and one of my lights, um, one of the bulbs actually went out. So, but I have so many videos that I need to get done. So I thought I would just go ahead and go with it. So let's go ahead and get started. The first thing I picked up from Charlotte Russe were these sandals. They're regular like $8.99, but I got them for $5. And they're just a basic white kind of crochet sandal. Um, I got these actually to replace a pair that I have. I have some kind of white sandals that are, um, why is that looking all funky? But I have some white sandals that I just kind of need to retire because you know white gets sturdy and stuff. And oh, these kind of matches my headband. Look similar, right? Kind of. Not quite, but kind of. But anyways, I need to retire those and just bring on the new. So we got these ones. Next thing I got was just a really cute top. Um, it's kind of a crochet. It was regular $21.99. I think it was like $15. I don't remember to be exact. But um, it, it's better if you could try stuff on. Sometimes it's really hard to show you guys what I want it to show you. But So this is what it looks like. It's got the crochet. It's got a lot of beautiful detail on it. But... You wear, it's like this, it's off the shoulders like this, which you can't see because, yeah, almost need to take pictures of that. But you wear it off the shoulders like that, and then it gets sheer like this, and then at the bottom, but it's not see-through, which it's actually really cute, but then at the bottom, it kind of gathers like that. It's an adorable top. It's going to be really great uh, for the summertime, so I'm excited to wear that. And now let me just show you guys what I picked up from Target. And I picked up two sandals I had ordered off their website because I went to Target about a week ago, less than a week ago. I went in there, they had some sandals that I really liked, but they did not have my size. They only had one size of this, of the sandals that I wanted, just one size. And I was like, totally bummed, but I thought, you know, I, I thought, well, I'm going to go on the website. But I'm like, they're probably not going to even have it in my size. But I got lucky because not only did they have my size, but they had a deal going on where their sandals were buy one and they might still have this going on. So check it out if you're interested, if you need some new sandals like I did, but their sandals were buy one, get one half off. And then they had, um, free shipping. So I ended up getting both these sandals, which are very similar to each other. Um, end up getting both of them for about, I think it was like $35 if I remember correctly. So they're by the brand Mossimo and I left the boxes in the other room. So I apologize, but they did come with boxes and lids, but I just thought it'd be easier just to bring them all out here and show them like this rather than you guys don't want to see a stupid box, right? <laughs> Probably not. So bow. Okay. I mean, aren't these gorgeous or is it just me? I don't know. I was super excited. First off, these are, did I say this? Mossimo. Um, they're just a flat heel, which I, I generally like a little bit of a heel, but that's okay. I had to get these because I loved how blinged out these are. They have like a blue stone, um, purple, like a real light amethyst color, and this really gorgeous iridescent. And up here is almost like the November birthstone, like the citrine um, birthstone. It's just absolutely gorgeous. I just love these. And this stone is my favorite, this kind of iridescent. I just thought these were so beautiful. And I needed these in my life. And it has this detail here on the side so you can see kind of what that looks like. But I thought those were so cute. So I went ahead and picked those up. But also, too, I had to get, and this is the same design or style, but I had to go ahead and pick them up. They had them in the gold. So I went ahead and picked them up in the gold, too. And these are just a clear with the gold straps on it. So I thought those would go with just everything. And the flat heel, Massimo, both of them for $35 in case I forgot to say anything. But... How beautiful are these? I just thought they're so gorgeous. I cannot wait to wear these this summertime. Um, 
I thought it was a really great deal too to get both of them for that price and then not have to pay the shipping. So I got those. Now moving on, let me show you guys what I picked up from Target in the store. So I went to Target and I picked up a few things. The first thing I picked up was this EOS um, hand lotion in the Berry Blossom. I picked that up. Um, I want to say this was like $1.99. I picked it up because I'm doing a swap and I thought... Um, this was pretty cool. So I thought, I don't actually have one of these. I, now I'm thinking I probably should have picked one up for myself to try it. But I'm going to put that in my swap that I'm doing. So I got that. The next thing I picked up, and I was so excited because the dollar spot at my Target, they never have anything that I see you guys hauling. And I'm just like so jealous. But I actually found some stuff that you guys found. It was very picked over. But I did find a couple of things. So I was excited to find that. I found these really cute pens that were a dollar. You get two in a package. These are the styles that I picked up, and I thought those were so adorable. So I got those. Then I also picked up these um, really cute gel pens, which were a dollar as well. You get three in here. And look at those hearts on there. So cute. So I got that. Next thing I got was kind of boring, but it's just some of this Sea Mineral Moisture Conditioner. I really like this, and I was out of conditioner, so I went ahead and... Um, picked this up. I've used it in the past. It is. It does have a stronger smell, but for some reason the smell in this is very relaxing to me and I really like it. So I went ahead and picked that up. And then I picked up this um, Sea Mineral Moisture Shimmering Spray. It's a weightless kind of spray for your hair. Now I've got purchased this before and I really like it. It's by the Organics brand. Basically, let me explain to you. It says quench dry damaged hair with this um, blend of hydrating sea minerals with healing um, basically it helps with split ends and repairing moisture while um, transforms dry brittle hair into soft perfection basically now this is really good for my hair because my hair I do um, foil it and they bleach it and so it gets really dry and this I really like it I would not recommend this though because um, it is kind of if you have like fine hair or hair that's maybe more healthier than mine. It could be a little bit too heavy for your type of hair, but for um, dry, brittle hair like mine, this really works well and I really like it. It does have that same kind of scent as that uh, conditioner, kind of a stronger scent, but I, like I said, it's kind of got a, this got a relaxing smell to it too that I, I just like it. So I, that's where we purchased and I picked that up and I just did something weird with my hands so if you guys saw that I don't know I've been talking with my hands for some reason next thing I picked up was this Jurgens natural glow um, self tanner and I got this because and this is for medium to, to tan skin tones and I got this because I had seen a lot of people kind of talking about this but I had actually saw um, Bella I will link her channel down below she was talking about this and she has a she has been using this and her tan looks very natural and pretty so I kind of asked her you know um what was she using because I was kind of curious because I really like self tanners and she did a whole video on it so I will either link her channel or I will try to link the video that she did because it was very informative and um it was very helpful because I try to use self tanners I used to be a person that um and I will do a review on this too once I find out you know what I think of it it looks beautiful on her so but I used to be a person, I started tanning in a tanning bed, you know, whatever age you could go tanning in tanning beds, probably like 15. I don't know. I was very young. Yeah, I was, I think, 15 when I started tanning in tanning beds, very young. And I tanned until a few years ago, until my um, youngest son was, I think he was one years old. I tanned all the way till he was one. And one day, I'm going to go into a story. It's probably going to take a long time, but let me just try to do this, but... I don't know if you can see my scar. I don't think you're going to be able to see it because the lighting is so off. But I actually, on my arm here, I had this spot that was not like a mole, like what they describe. It's not what the typical skin cancer looks like. It's like, it looked like a freckle, just a bigger freckle. And it was perfectly round. Nothing looked weird about it, but it was like a brownish red color. Not something that you would, but I would constantly look at this spot because I got it later in life. And I, just, I always feel sick and I was like, something's wrong about this. I don't know. I went to my doctor and my doctor was like, I showed my doctor, she was like, oh yeah, it's no big deal. It's really small and it looks fine. I still, it didn't sit well with me and so I would, I just kept on looking at it and something just, I, I just didn't feel right about it. So one day I decided I was kind of doing some researching, looking it up and it still didn't fit the description of something that would be bad. But I decided I was researching to go to a dermatologist, which I wasn't familiar with, but I went to the dermatologist and sure enough, I had to have surgery. I had to have a big chunk of this removed. It was very, um, 
fairly early stage skin cancer. And my dermatologist told me you, you cannot go in the sun basically ever again, you know, no tanning beds ever again because, and I've also had a spot on my back after that that I've had to have removed too. So no more tanning beds for me. So I'm sorry, long story, but basically I want to try this out because her tan looked really pretty. And I thought, well, I'll go ahead and give that a try because I've tried other things, but I've not been a hundred percent um, pleased with it. And then I also picked up this um, natural glow. Um, this is for the medium to tan too. And this is for your face, the self tanner. So I can't wait to try these out to see how it is going to turn out. So have a little tanner because the summer's coming and I just feel like my legs and stuff, my face and up here doesn't look so light, but like my legs are just, ugh, you know, and then I also picked up some of these, um, let's spa kind of glove things for the shower. So I got those and then, and then I picked up this really pretty, uh, Revlon polish, which I thought was absolutely gorgeous. It's the pink glaze number seven, four, five. And this is really pretty pink and you're not going to see how gorgeous this is, but it's got like really pretty gold flecks in it. Yeah, the light's so bad, but it's absolutely gorgeous. I just had to pick up this polish because I thought it was really pretty. And then I picked up a couple of lip products. I picked up this NYC. This is the um, Intense Lip Color by, S yeah, I said that already. NYC and this is in the color, oh my 021 something pink. How that small? I don't know. This is, can you guys read that? Let's see. Is it still kind of blurry? Oh, it's getting late in my eyes. Oh, it's hard to see, but it's this really pretty pink. It's almost got a really, um, it's kind of got a little bit of a frosty color to it. So, and I'm hoping you guys can see this, but it's absolutely gorgeous and it's creamy too. Um, put a bunch on there so hopefully that you can see it. It's a real pretty pink kind of frosty color. It's absolutely gorgeous and yeah, you can't see it too well. So I do apologize, but it's, do know it is really pretty and it, it doesn't have too, it almost smells like a faint strawberry scent to it, but it's really gorgeous actually. I'm actually really liking that. It's not showing up as bright of a pink as it actually is. And then I also picked up this lipstick here. This is a LA Colors lipstick and it's um, Cupcake. How cute is the packaging on that? I think that packaging is absolutely gorgeous. This is almost like a coral pink color, but I love this packaging. And it does, it's like gorgeous pink. This one shows up a little bit better, but it's just a real gorgeous pink color. But yeah, I wish you guys could see that because it's really gorgeous, so. But yeah, that's in Cupcake and I thought that was um, really pretty. I love my pinks. Okay, so now moving on. Last two things are just two things that I picked up from Ulta. Um, I just picked up this Beauty Smoothie Buttercream Cupcake 3-in-1 Shower Gel Shampoo and Bubble Bath. And OMG, this smells so freaking good. Normally, I don't like bake good scents on my body, like for shower gel, but this smells so amazing. It's amazing. It's absolutely amazing. It smells so good. Um... Yeah, I got this from Ulta. I can't remember how much I purchased this for, but it was definitely worth it. Let me put it that way because it smells so good. Last thing I got from Ulta was just a couple of things. And this, I wasn't actually even going there for this, but they didn't even actually have the color I want. But I picked up this Urban Decay. This is the eyeshadow. It is the Moon Dust, and this is in Glitter Rock. And it's a really pretty purple color. The one I actually wanted was, they didn't have, but... I went ahead and picked this one up and this is a really pretty, it doesn't have like chunky glitter in it, like a lot of the eyeshadows. And I'm sorry about the glare, but that's what the packaging looks like. And then, I hope you can see that. It shows up like glitter, but when you apply it, it's not like chunks. It's just, it's very, this is gorgeous. So let me try to swatch this for you guys. I'm going to do it like that. Yeah, I'll do it like that because if I swatch it on my hand, you can't really see it. But it's a real pretty purple glitter color. It's really gorgeous. I actually used this the other day, and I really like it. So I was excited to get that. I'm hoping that I can get the other one. I know I can't remember the name of the other one that I wanted. So I got that, and 
So yeah, that's all I got from Ulta, but I hope you guys are all having a really fabulous evening and sorry about all the, sometimes I have a tendency to ramble, but I'm home with kids all day. Well, not all day, but I'm home with, my husband's been working a lot of hours and so sometimes it's nice to get them in here and talk to you guys because I feel like I'm talking, I actually feel like I'm talking to you guys like, you know, and you guys are like, my, well, it's not like you guys are my friends. That's how I feel. So, but anyways, I hope you guys have a good rest of your evening. I thank you guys so much for watching. Bye guys.